Hey guys, uh, Spar's Journey again, and uh, I just saw how game one ended, and it ended with the VB up there, so uh, genius. But, we're in game two, uh, I see that VB's going to Mewtwo also. Um, maybe, he's, he's probably just trying out Mewtwo, maybe, uh, I'm not really sure, but hey, I know VB's been working on this Mewtwo for, you know, a minute already, so, you know, why not try him out, ultimates around the corner, try to hold much new characters, maybe pick the character up in the next game. So, I know that Devin actually has a pretty good track record against Vivi. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because Kirby has a few setups that are really difficult for Kirby to get around. Down throw specifically is guaranteed to link, link it to down smash. Okay. Oh, so he, oh okay. Lucar is one of those guys. He's one of the three only... Wow! He's one of the only three characters that down air down smash is actually a true combo. Okay. Unless, like, you smash the yeah, like, your life depending on it. Because it does. But, okay. But, um... 
I could, then I could see why he went with, with this matchup. Because he definitely just sniped his um, recovery with a uh, neutral beat. With a uh, shadow ball, excuse me. You know, I really—I mean, I really like how uh, BB's playing this matchup. He's playing a lot of a lot of cow, cat and mouse with Kirby because you know Kirby. When, once Kirby gets in, he's he can actually make you explode. The main problem is getting in. Um, so I like how BB's playing around like Kirby's, you know, bad uh, speed, not enough range. He's just like running around, charging Shadow Ball, down tilting a whole bunch, throwing out his forward tilt, throwing out his tail, anything to get Kirby away from him. And I like and I like the approach, especially right now that he has the lead. Uh, Devin is definitely pressed to approach right now. And as of right now, he's just trying to walk up and get some type of trip to so he could like, you know, try to catch Beam in a situation he doesn't want to be in. He might die, yes. At the percent, uh, is a very light character. Okay, and I respect that. Use the up smash while he had invincibility, because if he hit him, Kirby definitely would have died, so. One of those no risk scenarios that I guess some people don't utilize. Um, yeah, right now, uh, you no, know, Devin, Devin, Devin trying to bring this back, you know, right now he has a lot of momentum, and he almost caught that DI away, because BB was trying to get out of that down air, and <laughs> almost cost him his stock. Yeah, right, yeah, right now, you know, Devin pretty much brought this all the way back, because Kirby's like one F smashed away at the ledge from killing on YouTube. <laughs> you know, good stuff by Devin. Pretty much, he's just pretty, just pretty much walking down Vivi into the corner. Okay, try to catch that roll with the up tilt. Yeah, and that low profile, he's ducking the early shadow balls out for the charge. Even some charge. Excuse me? He yeah, it's a he fully... It oh, as, no. Oh, no, he caught oh, that no. jump. It's a fully charged shadow ball oscillates at a range where Kirby can't actually duck it if he's at just the right spot when he's ducking. That's genius. Yeah, it's just like it's just really risky to do that for obvious reasons. Oh my god! Because you don't want to explode like that. That's like a, that's not a way you want to end your life, buddy. <sighs> but hey, I mean, he went for it. Almost worked out for him. But like you know, good stuff by BB and also good, <laughs> good stuff by Devin making that, uh, game two very close. He was like, "This is kind of a wash, uh, Devin. Please stop getting washed." And then he stopped getting washed. Hey man, it's like uh, magic. Um, yeah. So let's get into some slides right now. Obviously. Obviously, follow us at House3000 on Twitter, House3000 on Facebook, House3000 on Twitch, House3000 on YouTube, the up, the video.